I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day or night. Today I wanted to break down a few of the super unique and dope effects from Emily Chapa's Do It Again music video. The editor made some really dope effects with the content aware fill tool and after effects as well as some really cool masks. It was also requested in the comments so uh, I decided to go over the music video. Let's get straight into it. So hopping into after effects, the first effect I wanted to go over was this little scene right here in the beginning where the two girls actually disappear and they go invisible and then come down and uh it's just a super cool effect. So right here, I have a very similar clip from the music video that I selected. Went ahead and rotoscoped out these two girls, as you can see, and I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this layer. So now we have two different rotoscopes. So now that we have two rotoscoped layers, I'm actually gonna go to one of the two, and I'm going to invert the foreground slash background. So now if I go to the composition, you'll see I have two layers here. One is going to be just the background, and one is just going to be the two subjects. I'm gonna go ahead, double click on both these, and hit freeze and this is going to lock both of these rotoscopes in place but i have both of these layers frozen i can go back and see we have one layer of just the two girls and beneath that we have our layer of just the background the next step to this is actually getting that content aware fill effect that you guys saw where it basically makes them invisible we're going to achieve this by hiding our top layer of the two girls rotoscope so it is just transparent and if you guys don't see this transparency uh, you're going to go ahead right here and toggle the transparency grid and what you're going to want to do is move your workspace over to where your clips are. So move the workspace by dragging this blue line. And I'm just going to make the workspace the length of these two clips. We're going to go to the right side and go to the content aware fill tab. And this is where the magic really happens of making it invisible. You guys can go ahead and tweak the settings. I'm going to have my expansion around 17. Fill method surface. And our lighting correction is going to be on strong. I'm going to go ahead and click generate fill layer. After Effects just finished creating this fill layer. And if I play that through, you can see that the girls are now kind of invisible. It makes this really cool effect with artificial intelligence. What we're going to want to go ahead and do is drag this fill layer underneath our original rotoscope. So we have our original rotoscope on top. Looking back at the original effect, you can see that they kind of fade away and go invisible and then pop back in. So we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go to our top layer going to go down into the transform. I'm going to keyframe the opacity at 100% at the beginning. Then I'm going to go in a few frames and going to keyframe this opacity to zero. So now they go from being there to invisible. And now we just need them to slide down in. I'm going to go to our effects in presets and drag on a transform effect to this rotoscope. I'm going to go ahead and keyframe the position. I'm going to go forward one. And I'm going to crank this position to around negative 400. And I'm going to come back to the opacity down here. Now that our two girls rotoscoped are now out of the frame, I can go to the opacity. I'm going to set a keyframe here. Go forward one frame. And we're just going to reset that back to 100. And now you can see that I actually did not go high enough. So I'm going to go back to the frame and crank it to around negative 600. So now it's completely out of frame. I'm going to go to the effects and the effects transform. And I'm going to set a keyframe here. I'm going to go forward the one, two, three, four, make it five frames. And I'm just going to reset the position to 540 so that they slide down. I'm going to go to my toggle switches and modes and make sure the motion blur is turned on. Now, if I play that back, they go invisible and then slide down from the top. And yeah, that's pretty much the entire effect right there. Really stay true to the original. They do have a flash. So I'm going to pre-compose these three layers as one. Move all data. I'm going to grab my levels, drag that on. And as soon as they slide down, I want it to flash. So I'm going to go to right as they slide down. So the frame where they slide down, I'm going to go back one, two, three, four frames and keyframe on my levels. Then I'm going to go back to where they come in. I'm just going to drag the whites to be brighter. Then I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, five frames and reset it to normal. And now we kind of have that flash effect going. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the first effect. Let's move on. So my favorite effect in this video, and he used it a couple different times. He has NLE kind of like teleporting around with the ghost echo trail behind him. I just think this effect is super cool and super clean. And uh, yeah, I'm going to teach you guys how to create it. So yeah, to recreate this effect, again, you're going to have to have a scene. And I've already gone ahead and rotoscoped out NLE. So as you can see, here's the scene and he's completely rotoscoped out. And I have not froze this yet. I'm going to duplicate this layer. And on the bottom layer, I'm going to go ahead and invert the foreground and background. This one is not inverted and this bottom one is. Now I'm going to go ahead and freeze both these clips. So now with both of these clips frozen, I'm going to close out of the layer. And you can see we have the same situation where one layer is just the background and one layer is just the subject. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with the content aware fill. Make sure that it's just our bottom layer showing so we can see that the subject is transparent. Toggle the transparency grid if it is not transparent going to go ahead to the content aware fill. I'm going to use these same settings with the alpha expansion 17 surface and the lighting correction on strong. I'm going to generate the fill layer. 
with our fill layer generated you can see that our subject is somewhat invisible going to go ahead and drag that in between our bottom layer and our top layer so now we just have to animate our subject flying around going to go ahead to the effects and presets and grab our transform going to drag that on the top rotoscoped out subject layer and here at the very first frame i'm going to go ahead and toggle our position and our scale so now i'm just going to scrub along the timeline for a little bit now i'm just going to move nle so i'm just going to drag the position here and upscale him maybe move him down a little bit and have him come over here to the left and i'm going to go along the timeline in here have him go to the right drag him to the right scale him down a little bit and then i'm going to have him go back to his original position towards the end so here i'm going to have the position as back to 960 and 540 and scale 100. now i'm going to go ahead and go down to the effects transform i'm going to highlight all of these right click and easy ease them make sure that our motion blur is checked now you can see we have nle moving around but I kind of wanted to pause it for a little bit at the places that he moves to. I'm going to highlight these keyframes, about two frames, and paste them again. So now he's going to pause right here. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Copy, one, two, paste. Now we've got him going one, two, and back. Now it's just time to add our ghost trail. I'm going to go ahead and grab our trail preset. If you guys do want to learn how to create ghost trails in After Effects, I will have a video linked right here. It will teach you exactly how to create this preset. If I play that back with the preset applied, you can see that we pretty much have the entire effect. The only thing we're missing is these shakes. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight all four of these clips and pre-compose them. Go ahead and grab Sapphire Shake and drag that onto our pre-composed layer. I'm going to set the X shake to around 100. And there's a lot of tilt shake. So I'm going to go ahead and set the tilt shake to around 7. Now going to the exact frame where he gets to where he's teleporting to. I'm going to keyframe the amplitude. Set that to 1.4. Go back three frames. Set that to zero. I'm going to check the motion blur. Go forward three frames. Set that to zero. Now I'm just going to go down into the effects and the sapphire shake. I'm going to highlight all of the frames and easy ease them. I'm actually going to copy all of them. Go over to where he teleports for the second time and paste them. I'm going to go to where he finally gets back and paste these keyframes again and adjust them. You can see that we have NLE teleporting all over the place with a very similar effect to what was in the original music video. The last thing I wanted to go over was this part in the music video where NLE just has like clones flying out of them. This is a very simple effect to do, but I think it just looks so clean, especially where it is executed in this video. Using the exact same clip as the last effect, I have him rotor brushed out here. And on the bottom layer, I just have the background with no rotor brush at all. So once you have him rotor brushed out, I'm going to duplicate this layer and make sure you go to the bottom layer and go ahead and grab transform and drag that on i'm going to effects and transform i'm going to go ahead and keyframe the position at the beginning now i'm going to go out six frames take the position and drag it all the way out to the right i'm going to go ahead and toggle the motion blur highlight these keyframes and easy ease them that we now have a clone going out to the right and if that's too fast i can go ahead and drag out this keyframe so that it is a little bit slower. Repeat the process. I'm going to duplicate this layer that I just made. Go to the bottom layer. I actually want this clone to come out where the other one ends. So I'm going to highlight these keyframes and move them to the right. So now it's coming out to the right again. But now we want it to come to the left. So I'm going to go over to where this keyframe is and drag it out to the left. So now playing this left, we have clones going to the right and to the left. You guys can repeat this process as many times as you want. But yeah, that's going to be it for this music video breakdown. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you haven't already, I highly suggest you join the Mission Discord. I'll have it linked in the description. You can collaborate with me and a ton of other editors on there. And yeah, that's about it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Later.